Ladies and gentlemen, let's take you back from what happened on the main event. As you can see here, Ray Vertical Suplex Dominator, his brother, through the flaming table and puts him in a face of wrath and ends him right there. Pulling this another big upset of seeing Ray beating Dominator, a longtime veteran UCCW. It was a shocking main event from Warzone Season 2, Episode 15. That match was taking place in the Hardcore Rules. And then what happens next after Rath's celebration? Here's Austin! Right behind him. Wraith goes for attack but missed. And he delivers a death warrant right onto Wraith. The crowd cheers for Austin. And then what happens next? Austin picks him back up and delivers a poison mist right in his face, blinding him and gives him a death warrant for the second time. Look at that impact. Austin's delivering a message towards the Phantom Blood, and then Kurumi comes out angry, loses her mind. Wraith is down. Austin has something to the Phantom Blood, and it's something cold and dark about this, but we may never know how dangerous he is right now. As you can see here, Austin's already in the ring during the intermission break after Warzone went off the air and it's time for a main event show as he has his as he wants a match and then UCW is going to give him what he wants and right now you can see here here comes his opponent Captain Spawnley the last time we saw those two was back in G1 Climax final super show in Pittsburgh and also we saw them again when Austin beat the crap out of him in the backstage now they're going to have a match again. Since G1 Climax Finals in Pittsburgh. Here we go. Live in DC. And Spotly comes out laughing for some reason. Oh, whoa! Poison missed out of nowhere! Just blind him! And a death warrant! What the hell? Are you kidding me? He goes for the pin and... No way! You just... You cannot... No! We just got a new record, folks! I had to look at my timer to see how long that match take. Austin U.S. just broke the all-time record in UCCW history. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Austin's not done yet. I was about to call the backstage crew members to see what how long does that match take and what what the oh I think Austin is not done yet. Look at him go! Oh God! Referee's telling him enough, but Austin doesn't give a damn. Everybody doesn't give a damn from referees, including Austin. Referee, Austin wants him... Oh, look at this. Oh, there it goes, Captain Spawnley. Just demolished Captain Spawnley. Down goes a clown. We all know we don't need clowns, and Austin gave him right where he wants him. Oh, here's Sarah Galaxia. As you all remember, he didn't respond to her message about his ch her challenge. What does this mean for him and Sir Galaxia? If you haven't subscribed to the Video Game Wrestling Network yet, here's what you've been missing.
Video Game Wrestling Network, the only network for you. The most awesome experience network in CAW today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to UCCW's main event, episode 14, here in Washington, D.C. And we're kicking things off with this match. Gohan versus... The Soviet Mind Freak, Psycho Mantis. And during the commercial break, we just got a word from the backstage crew... From the from the statistics from the statistics, excuse me, that Austin U has broke the all-time record of the shortest match in UCCW history, 22 seconds of him beating the clown Captain Spotly. Holy cow! He just beat um, Poison and Peach's shortest match in UCCW history. Now that match went on for 43 seconds. Or, if I may be correct, it was 43 or 47 seconds. So with that, Austin U has just made history in the record book. 22 seconds, Austin U has defeated Captain Spawnley. Now we got another member of the Phantom Blood. Ready to take on the longest ringing tag team champions in showdown history. Go on! We got two record breakers and we got Phantom Bloods in the main event shows. And we just witnessed Austin U has breaking the shortest match in UCCW history. Gohan's gonna take on Psycho Mantis after what he did to his father Goku for losing his hardcore title to Captain Spotly. Mind if I tell you that? And then he lost to Armageddon and then Broly. Took the hardcore title in Doomsday 2 after double crossing his brother into a bullet club. What a crazy timeline that was. And now we're seeing Gohan ready to take his revenge against Psycho Mantis. After crossing his dad, Goku, of his hardcore title. I think it was back in. The Go Home Show in Warzone, San Antonio, before Doomsday 2. Now here we go! Oh! Now Go on is taking this in the hard way on Psycho Mantis here in the main event. Last match of the night. Go on up the ropes. Oh! Reversal by Psycho Mantis. Psycho Mantis. Oh! Right in a leg. Now choking him, the Soviet mind freak against the DBZ Z Warrior. Go on up. That didn't affect him. That was weird. Go on. Oh, full Nelson Bulldog. Nice move by Gohan. Bites back. Oh, leg sweep. Focusing on his leg. As you can tell from Psycho Mantis. Focusing on his leg, and recently we haven't heard his secret mind lately. All we know is what he did to Dominator and freaking Cinder and other. All we know is Cinder and um. Also Ryoko Hakbuki, of course. As you can tell, Ryoko is out. Oh, uh, this could be just like Daisy, where she's out for the rest of the season due to the injury from that hardcore match she had with Shadow Queen. Right now we're seeing, we can see the same thing to Ryoko from her injury from the first ever women's death match. Somehow Kurumi is healed, but not Ryoko. Pretty sad how the Bullet Club turns out. Bullet Club, Bullet Club, excuse me. Bullet Club is not fine, people. It is sad how things turning out. And we can see some fans are supporting Phantom Blood because they dislike the Bullet Club. It's just a matter of their opinions and I don't care. But it's sad anyways. There's a pin and only get one by go by Phantom Blood. 
Unlocked. Psycho Mantis. Pretty much successful lately. He beat Cinder. Pretty much took out match of the wrestlers. Lost to Kate Skywalker, for, unfortunately. But that match was in the vacated U.S. title tournament. The number one contention tournament, if I may ask. Oh, nice. Suicide dive by Psycho Mantis. But can he put on a rebound as he takes on Gohan here tonight? Oh, vicious under her DT. That one's vicious. No commercial, people. Screw that. We're in the last match of the night here in D.C. before we shipped off to Baltimore. Where Ravens got my boy Lamar Jackson from Louisville. Now go on. Oh. Also, you got my boy from UC. Oh! What a move by Gohan. Picks him up. You got to tell you, Gohan is one incredible technician here in wrestling. And he has incredible, incredible high skills. High flying skills. Going for the pin and only gets one. Freaking Ravens, as you may know, we're going to showdown live in Baltimore. And, um... Nice late drop by Gohan. Going for the two and close call. Almost got a three count. Freaking Ravens not only got Lamar Jackson, they got my boys from UCLA. Kenny Young and Jordan Lashley. Good luck playing in a crappy city in the world. Goes for the pin! Getting two from the ref. As much as I dislike the Ravens, I'm going to take my high respect for these two Two boys from UCLA, since I'm a huge UCLA football fan. Wish them the best of luck playing for the Baltimore Ravens. I think Ravens might have a huge impact, to be honest. Steers are getting cursed because of the freaking Madden cover. Just like how the freaking Madden cursed the Patriots, they lost to the Philadelphia Eagles. My if I ask you that. Now, oh, referee's in a five, and Psycho Mantis just did a spear on Gohan through the barricade. Don't tell me he's gonna win like this. Referee's in the six. Referee's on the seven. Referee didn't notice that Psycho Mantis is using an illegal weapon. That could be a disqualification. Referee didn't notice that. Referee's in a nine. It could be a count out. Oh, I just made it back into the ring. Oh, what a move by Gohan. And referee just saw it. Managed to get the steel chairs. Good move, ref. Good move. Oh, what a move. Gohan. Drop kick deliver. Now, Gohan. It's gonna pick him up. Oh! How do you get I can I can get eye poker he's wearing glasses? It would be weird if someone would do the exact same thing on Psycho Mantis with that one. Oh! Right in the steel steps. Good god. Psycho Mantis taunts. He's not getting up after that vicious move he did. Especially that underhook DT right on the concrete floor. There goes, oh, come on, not my announce table. We, Austin, you has did that before. Come on, not this one again. We just had a fix after what Austin did. Oh, come on. Well, that's it then. RIP my announce table. Oh, my God, what? Oh, my God. Freaking neck breaker. Crash and burn. Both men are down, but Gohan just got back up. Murphy's on an eight and Gohan. I have no idea what is he doing. I think he wants to beat him in the ring. Oh, stumped in the balls. <laughs> yes, Gohan just stumped Psycho Mantis in the balls. Let's go for the finisher. Oh, nope, not good. 
Oh no, not like this! Psycho Choke Slam! Or Eye of the Phantom. Excuse me, too. Only getting two from that Phantom the Eye. Gets reversal. He's going for a Psycho Driver, but gets reversal. Go on! Counters with a twist of fate! And he just busted him wide open! Just busted the Soviet mind's head! Holy cow, Gohan just did that! Is he gonna win? One, two... No! Only getting two! My god! Gohan back in the action! Drop kick on Psycho Vantis for a second time! You know who hates Baltimore? The freaking Steiner brothers! It was back in WCW, I believe it was in Nitro or Thunder in 1999 or 98, I believe. Who is the crappiest city in the world? Baltimore! Gotta love the Steiners. I believe it was freaking Scott Steiner, I believe. Or Rick Steiner. Oh, what a... Oh, he just... Go on to no freaking sellout. From that vicious leg drop. Oh my god. You gotta love Go on. Going for the pin. One, two. Oh, they getting two. And now Psycho Mantis. Oh, another vicious underhook DDT. Picks it back up. Oh, Go on's gonna steal it. Is he gonna win? Oh, Psycho Mantis reversed! Gone, kicked out by one! Holy cow! Unexpected for sure from Psycho Mantis. Gone! Mansion got him with a trap. Oh, he's getting weeped out from that vicious twist of fate that busted that Soviet mind freak skull. Eye of the Phantom gets reversal by Gohan! Gone! It. A cease from behind! Go on, got him! Twist of fate delivery! I don't know what was he thinking when he does that since there's a DQ rule. He's trying to hit with a steel chair. There's that Swanton! Go, Swanton by Gohan! Get him out of here! Thankfully, the referee didn't call it DQ. Drop kick this time on Siege. And a swipe on for the second time. What a move by Gohan. Oh, here comes Psycho Mantis. Trying to distract him, but didn't work. Going for the pin from the sunset flip. Only getting two. And there's that twist of fate! For the second time! Good night, Psycho Mantis! Time to finish him off for his dad! What the? Psycho Driver out of nowhere! He just steals the win! You gotta be kidding me! Psycho Mantis! Out of nowhere, just like what he did to Cinder, he steals a win. Phantom Blood takes no care of the traditional wrestling matter and just steals a win again. It was a win why it could have been Siege, but Psycho Mantis right there, watch this. Boom! Psycho out of nowhere. The Soviet Mind Freak, just like Koromi Dio and Psycho Mantis, they use a Kinesis time power. The Soviet does takes no true matter of a cheating matter ways. And that is all over. This is UCCW main event episode 14. Good night from Washington DC. And we will see you all in Showdown Live and 225 Live in Baltimore, Maryland.